What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going over the top lures to use during the pre-spawn period. No, I never realized how much I actually need a fishing kayak until I try to get all my camera gear and everything on here. Realize there is zero room to do it, and it is a pain. So please, if any kayak companies are watching this, I need a sit on top fishing kayak so bad. I'll give you all the content in the world that you want. Oh, anyways, as I said earlier, we're gonna go over the top fishing lures to use in the pre-spawn. Now, I know that means bass, but I'm also going to be including some uh, some tips to use to catch other species as well. So, dive right into it. First lure is going to be a stick bait. Now, this thing you can use just about any time of the year. You'll catch pretty much everything on this. Caught everything from pickerel to bass, anything that swims in the water that you're fishing. But all you're gonna wanna do with this, cast it out. Let that thing sink down for, say 10, 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how deep your, uh, your lake is. And then once it gets towards the bottom, give it a couple twitches. Let it sink back down. And you're gonna wanna just feel your line for a thump. So if you get a thump, you're gonna send that thing into orbit. Get it coming towards you, you know what I'm saying? Drive that hook in, you don't want to lose that fish. But this is a very simple lure to fish. You can give it to just about anybody and they'll probably catch one. You can either put a weight on it if you're fishing really deep water. I like to fish a weightless just because they like hitting it on the fall. So the more time you can get it to fall, the better chances you'll have of catching a fish. Oh, there's a beaver on top of my line. Let's not do that, dude. No hooking beavers today. Man, I was confident in that cast. You suck, dude. All right, I'm just gonna get away from him now. Cause now that he's here, I'm betting there's not gonna be too many fish on this side. I'm gonna come back to the stick bait. I wanna throw something else over here, and these fish are giving me the work. But I do wanna catch a fish on each lure, I show you. However, this is the jerk bait. It's probably my favorite bait to throw this time of year. Um, you can work it as fast or slow as you want. Um, I usually keep it slow, I get more bites like that. Um, you get them dive different depths. I get the shallower ones, but if you're fishing something with like less snags, less weeds, um, I throw a deeper one just because it gets down there to where the fish are. But you're gonna wanna throw this out, do what I'm doing. I go twitch, twitch, twitch. You always wanna give it a pause. And um, keep doing that and eventually Usually you won't feel it, but you'll go to give it another twitch and all of a sudden it'll just be 10 times heavier. And that's when you just keep following the twitch back, set the hook. But this is one of my favorites because it gets their attention really well. It looks a lot like an injured fish. And usually that's what they're looking for. They want an easy meal this time of year. <laughs> all right, ladies and gents. Rum pond number two now. I probably fished that first spot for like, I wanna say two and a half hours. 
didn't even smell a fish. I was about to pack up and just scratch this video, but I became determined. And now I'm at this random pond that I've never put a boat into, but I've caught fish at. It's actually one of the first, probably like the fourth video I posted. It was like frog fishing at sunset or something like that. Um, it was here. And I always said I wanted to put a kayak in here. But now that I am actually here, we're gonna see if we catch some fish. Oh, this might be a lily pad. Well, I just scared away like seven fish. No idea what they were. <laughs> I know there's pickerel in here. So, I'm not gonna rule those out. Definitely expecting them on this jerk bait, but. Oh. That's a fish, I think. Yep, that's a fish. Come here. Ah, that's a decent fish, what is this? This might be a bass. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, it's a pickerel. Dude, huge pickerel. God. That's a big pickerel. Come here. Ah, yep. There he goes. Well, I would have showed that to the camera because that's my only fish for the day, but. Ah. I don't like to uh, mess around with those pickerel while I have three treble hooks on one bait. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> but I'm gonna say for now, that's the jerk bait down. Um, I'll definitely come back to it, see if I can get a bass on it, but for the sake of this video, move on. Because I don't have a ton of time left in the day. Oh, that was a fish. No. It was a pickerel, I definitely bit this in half. Nope, that might have been a bass. No. Oh, I didn't know that was a fish. Nope, that's not a fish. <laughs> and I just messed up my eye. What's up with that? I just got tapped. I think. That was a fish. Why do I suck? Come on. That was probably a pickerel. That's a pickerel. <laughs> ah, got his ass. Come here, buddy.
Oh, you might bite me off. Don't do that. Look at that juicy pickerel. That thing is a tank. See you later, buddy. So, I wanted to make a, a bass video today, but it seems like the bass are still recovering from the ice. Whereas the pickerel, they fire up a little earlier. They become more aggressive earlier than the bass. So I think we might just do a uh, best lures in general set of best lures for bass. <laughs> just kind of what I was planning on doing today anyway, but I'll be happy if I catch a bass. <laughs> Got lure number three. Gonna be the crankbait. Now, this lure is pretty straightforward. No twitching, just reeling, but they do come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and depths. So, the, uh, the best all around, I'd say, is probably a three to six foot diving crankbait, which is pretty shallow, like shallow to medium. But this is probably two and a half inches long, we'll say. And I'll probably throw this more than any of the bigger ones I have in my box just because you can catch everything with them. And I bet this thing's gonna get eaten pretty early on, but I thought I already had a fish. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are good for this time of year because you can kind of control how fast you reel them in and um, how deep they go. Because the faster you reel them, the deeper they'll go. But you're going to want to put on something that you can reel pretty slow because, again, these fish are still just coming back from the ice out. So they're not going to want to chase anything like super fast. <sighs> put on different crankbait because that one was diving a little too deep. So, same concept. Um, a little shallower of a, of a bait though, hopefully. I guess we'll see. Craig Bates catching way too many weeds. So I'm gonna put it away, but you get the idea. Those are the three baits I use the most from ice out, which is probably March until usually late April. Once late April hits, we get into just a different kind of behavior from bass. You'll get those uh, those early spawners, and you'll get the ones that'll move up a lot shallower. That are just looking to feed on something. But for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna throw around this stick bait and my jerk bait, because those are the two baits I use the most during this time period. I want to catch some more fish. Just broke me off. No. That was definitely a pickerel. <laughs> oh. Little tip if you're fishing this time of year as well. Make sure you're fishing whatever side the sun is on. But if the sun's on the whole pond, make sure you fish the side that'll have sunlight when it's setting. So this side of the pond has sun on it, the other side does not. That's just because they like to sit in the sun during this time because it's so cold in that water. It's like having a nice blanket over them. And especially the opposite side of where the sun sets is going to be the best because the sun hits it for longer every day so that shoreline will be warmer. I knew that was coming. GoPro battery died. That means I take a couple more casts and I'm gone. <laughs> That's not you. 